Hey there everybody, this is Deegan from Deegan Network and welcome to Scenario 4 of Roller Coaster Tycoon, Diamond Heights. Okay, Diamond Heights is already a successful theme park with great rides, so develop it to double its value. Your objective, to achieve a park value of at least 20000 at the end of October Year 3. Okay, now this is the uh, first park value scenario that we have around here and I just want to say these are it could be confusing to some uh, some that are new and not used to um, this type of scenario but essentially what we do is we take a look at the finances screen and you see park value right here this is the current value of your park at the end of October of year three you need this park value to be above twenty thousand now Park value can be increased by building new rides and having high ratings and things like that, but they will go down um, exponentially because your rides get older, therefore it loses its value. So let's just take a quick look at some of the rides that we have. Um, for example, the Snake River Falls, huh, 431, not that good, but of course it has, um, why is it like three bucks? It was built last year, so this still has some value versus maybe, let's say, I don't know, this looks like the star attraction, agoraphobia and claustrophobia, um, three years ago. So this will have uh, less, less value than it originally did. Um, let's take a look at the damn 777 and 720. That is extremely good. But they're of course five dollars. Why is it five bucks? Roller coaster one. Seven eighty-nine. Damn. That looks like a kick-ass roller coaster, actually. Let's uh, rename this. Nine yard madness. <clears throat> cool. It's probably expensive as shit. And we have another one right here. It's uh, Arachnophobia, 579. <laughs> Mine's better. But actually, for Steel Mini Roller Coaster, right? Steel Mini. I really do like the design. I mean, it's it is nice. It looks cool too. Oh, and another thing, I remember this from uh, playing this a number of times several years ago. Do not change the trains on this roller coaster. It will royally fuck you. Um, that's from what I remember. Um, I, th I think I decided to do like two trains or whatever, two, three trains, added max amount of uh, trains per car, like eight trains or whatever, and then like I didn't even complete the entire circuit. That's from what I remember. I'm not going to test that out, obviously, but that's from what I remember. Could be wrong. Um, roller coasters. Great. They already built everything. Wonderful. Um, out of these three, I think Wooden Crazy is definitely uh, my favorite one, but you can always do a shuttle loop to make some more money. But, of course, you can always pull out some loans. I mean, you already have enough rides in this park. You just need more. And you can loan up to 25000 let me go ahead and pull out up to 5k. And let's see, I saw slide and merry around. So you have a couple of rides that you can build here and there, but for the most part, they already built everything for you, except the food court, which is sad. Um, for the size of this park, I think two food courts is really enough. Um, don't really know where to put it, but I like having it in a flat area. So it'll probably be either here or here that's probably what I would do yep and for research we already have information kiosk we don't have any drink stalls no drink stalls so that's obviously first definitely maximum funding and we have all of these rides. We also have a miniature railroad that's actually not bad, 506. Of course, it just outlines the entire park. So you kind of see where your um, your land is. And they gave you a lot of land. I mean, there is some serious land here for improvement. 
Um, I probably won't even use it all, which is insane. The only problem is all the land mass area is taken, so it's really in the ocean. You can really branch out and make this park uh, part of the uh, lake or pond or whatever the hell this is. You can totally do that, which is completely legit. I, I would do that, actually. I'm probably going to do that. Or you can go ahead and build stuff over here in the background. I mean, branch off from there. That's a good option as well. Um, but that's pretty much it. I don't really have too much to say from my initial observations. Um, but damn, it's free. I don't like that. I'm going to go ahead and do $15, and I'm going to lower all the prices on the, uh, the rides around me. Because I definitely, uh, I don't like doing this. Free entrance is not my thing. And then jack up the prices for the rides. You can totally do that. Or you can do free ride, jack up the entrance fee. Um, it's just that I prefer having, you know, medium entrance fee, medium ride prices. That way I get money for everything. It's just what I like to do. Anyway, I'll, I'll see you guys, you know, in the next update. All right, motherfuckers, welcome to July year one. Uh, I think I got it on time, the update on a timely manner this time, not year two <laughs> immediately. Um, I apologize for that. Well, here's the overview so far. I haven't really done a whole lot uh, except just really branch out some of these little rides. Um, that's pretty much what I've done. Uh, for the first, you know, four months of this, it, it's, um, it's just that this park is already developed. It's just they're missing smaller rides. So when no matter where you go, you get roller coasters all over the place. So there's no point in building any more. But there's a huge point in building like a scrambled eggs, you know, in a corner of the park where there's only like a miniature railroad or whatever. You know, it's like appropriate for that. Or you know, to build a haunted house right by um, Agrophobia, right? Yeah, Agrophobia, because, you know, they need that general ride. If they don't want to ride Agrophobia because it's too intense for them, chances are they will ride a haunted house, and it's raining. Um, <clears throat> I remember in the beginning of the video, I also said that the uh, entrance rate, I don't like it to be free. I, I decided I'm just going to test it out and see uh, what kind of uh, margins we get. And so far, I am impressed. Um, however, I've only made about five hundred dollars after all that I've built, which is everything that I could. Um, all the little rides, two food courts, and let's see. So I built scrambled eggs, haunted house, Ferris wheel, um, two food courts, and this roller coaster right here. Oh, and a pirate ship, and this roller coaster right here. Um, it's a variation of the shuttle loop. I always have one. Uh, it's great. It's called Shield Buster. And, uh, you know, I, th I thought it was pretty cool. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build as many, many of these rides as possible, and I'm going to start with the downhill because of the log flume. I don't know. It's pretty cool. So this right here is going to, is also starts off on a downhill kind of. Goes on through. Another loop here and then it just busts through in the air. It's pretty cool. Um, it is 617 first try, which is awesome. It's a little surprised with the intensity rating, but you know, I'm, I'm cool with that. 922 is fine with me. Um, I wish I had a full line, but I put it in the beginning of the park, so I think I'm good as far as that's concerned. Um, my park value is at 20,000 already. I mean, I only spent the amount of money that I made total you know so I'm doing pretty good however this is gonna go down very quickly and so whenever it goes down I need to bring that back up by the amount that it went down by so I actually need to build uh, some rides and unfortunately I'm limited to hedge maze and roller coaster I don't want to build like three of every ferris wheel around here like nobody gives a shit about that you know that's not important it's a small ride that you only need one of in the park you know I may do the uh, hedge maze thing that I did in the last park in Leafy Lakes uh, where I'm probably gonna try and build it here and I'm gonna extend it to over here by the other food court 
maybe that will work, but I'm a little skeptical because I don't want to take up all the space. So I'm just going to have to go along the coast here and hope hope for the best, really. Um, yeah, because I'm whenever I get better roller coasters, newer roller coasters, I may build one around here. So I have to really be careful where I plant this hedge maze. Uh, it's going to be like a transportation ride, really. I mean, in, we have this stupid railroad thing, but um, I don't know if a lot of people are going to ride that railroad. Maybe, maybe not. So, hedge maze from food court A. Well, not over here, but from food court A area to food court B area. I may just go ahead and do that, spend a couple of months on that. Um, I am getting a lot of money. Uh, I'm making about a grand a week, which is awesome. So that's about four grand, let's say, per month. It's not bad. Could be a little bit better, but I think taking money from the entrance rate and from the rides is more profitable, to be honest with you, thus far. But it's not a bad idea either, because you can really charge for the rides. Because you know, people can get on rides as much as they want, but people can only go through the entrance once. So never make your rides free. Always. If you're going to make something free, make sure the entrance rate is free. That's definitely uh, what I would do if you're going to do that uh, route. But I prefer charging both. It's just uh, a little bit easier, better. Uh, you actually get more money that way, in my opinion. So, peace. Hey there, welcome to May Year 2. Okay, I haven't really done a whole lot. Uh, but uh, I did do some awesome things. Uh, let's start with this. You know, I'll give you the park overview uh, thus far. Uh, yes, we have some new additions to our awesome uh, ride list, but I mostly focused on uh, this right here. So let's start with this maze. Uh, this maze, well, obviously has four lanes. The inner two are not used, and uh, it's just a footpath. That's a ride. It brings people from this food court area over here um, to the other food court area. Uh, that's nice, and it's not too crowded either, so you don't have to go through all this garbage. And uh, it allows people not to bust my lamps. And that's one thing that I hate about these parks where it's already built for you. The lamps here, they get busted, and I'm just like, I don't notice it, you know? So whenever one's busted, I replace that with a bench or a trash can, whatever's appropriate. Uh, that's pretty much that. Uh, these mazes, they're not very good. They're like 195, 197, so whatever. Um, the one that's going from over here, to me, this is like people marching down a single file line. Uh, only 16 people on the ride at once. Um, but uh, hey, that's fine with me. It's, it's like a marching thing. Uh, so the people going from this side over here, they're fascists, and the people going from this side over here are communists. <laughs> uh, pretty funny. Anyway, that's that. Um, this is my water slide. I love water slides. They're my favorite type of rides in amusement parks in real life. They're freaking cool. But this is something that I would fucking ride. It is cool as shit. Um, I started it here above ground. Uh, a little trick that you can do to do this is to go ahead and raise one of the landforms or the patches of land. This is what I did. I raised this piece right here up uh, three notches and I started my station platform there, extended it out, and then deleted this portion so it would only, you know, it would do that. And then I raised this back down to normal. So that's that's how you do that. If you didn't know that, you can totally do that. Um, water slides are cool, man. This one's fucking awesome. Um, it you know goes down as I said before. I would whatever island form you know in this island or whatever because of the log flume it starts with a dip. I'm gonna start everything with some sort of dip, no uh, chain pull until later, and that's exactly what I did. Just like with Shield Buster, that's kind of what happened. So with this water slide, it goes down, it goes around, really cool. Uh, I thought this was awesome, and then uh, it goes up to this massive chain link pool over here, uh, to the very top of the uh, slide mountain, what I whatever. Uh, it goes through, goes down, goes around, and then through here, it actually let's see here. 
down around comes through here and it goes this way so confusing it goes this way down here and around and then it goes through over here goes through uh, goes under here which is uh, through the uh, underground view right here and it kind of goes down and comes around and goes to the end which is cool um, one common thing about holy shit we got river rapids not the one I wanted the one I wanted is the river ride but River Rapids is also freaking awesome. I'm going to build that somewhere as well. Probably over here somewhere. I don't know. We have plenty of time to do that. Um, this <clears throat> common problem with water slides, it crashes a lot. And there is a remedy to it. Whenever it's a high pace situation, always use tunnels uh, on the turns. That's a problem. And if they're speeding already, like the very start, you know, when you have these steep hills, they'll never crash, they'll never fly off the track but as it goes on and if there's you know a high speed um, let's say anything over 10 miles an hour to be safe it will crash when you have one of those steep hills um, initial steep hill drop so always make those a tunnel even if it's underground make sure um, nothing crashes and you should be fine as a result I got a 684 um, I did build a water slide in the past uh, when I was playing this game before got it over seven and uh, I was satisfied with that so I never built a water slide again because it really pissed me off that it would crash and uh, the main difference between the water slide is when whenever there's no guests on it just the empty boat and you're testing it out it seems like everything's okay nothing's gonna crash but when there's guests on it it will and that sucks because you already completed everything and uh, you know that's that's why you want to take these precautions uh, be overly cautious with the water slide that's that's definitely a key but at the same time you want to have these high speed turns and high speed things and that way it will get your excitement rating above a four or above a five you know or definitely above a six this is very awesome for me and I was happy with that in terms of the rides uh, I've already researched um, all the gentle rides. So I'm kind of going with thrill rides and roller coasters right now. And I'm very content with that. We got River Rapids, uh, which I will build later. With the uh, gentle rides, I still have Observation Tower and Bumper Cars to spend uh, to build. Uh, that way, you know, just in case I need something to just boost my park, up, park value up by uh, several hundred, I can do that. As you can see here, my park value was 22,000 in April of year two and in May it has dropped 21465 so at this rate I will definitely fail the park if I don't build anything you know until uh, year three if I don't build anything for you know the rest of the park I will fail so I, you need to keep building at a pace make sure you build big rides here and there but you know you also need to build the little rides this this type of park takes a lot of planning and mm -hmm. It's cool because I've, you know, already paid down my loan in the very beginning of the game. I've only loaned up to five thousand, and I've paid that back almost immediately um, after I built Shield Buster. But I have twenty thousand to spend right now, and it's it's pretty cool. In terms of the staff, this is another important thing, I, I believe, in any park. Um, I have four handyman, four mechanics. Two of them are, I guess, you know they have specific areas that they cover um, which they've done that for you so I have two more as floaters and uh, two security guards because I'm tired of replacing shit it's starting to really piss me off but other than that I, I think this is looking pretty good um, as you can see my park value is stuck at 21 so I'm, I'm good with that I just need to build a couple more big rides here and there but let's I'm gonna wait for a while because I would like to build another roller coaster I just don't want to build um, any of the presets or not the presets but the one that they they've gotten for us you know the steel or the wooden crazy and the steel mini steel roller coaster uh, I already built the steel roller coaster I'm not gonna build one of these ever again uh, for a while and crazy vol type of thing I really like that roller coaster it's just if I'm gonna build one I want it to be really good and man 787 is kind of hard to beat. It's kind of like a pride thing with me. 
This is the crazy wooden wooden crazy rodent roller coaster is one of my favorites. So if I'm gonna build that, I really wanna nail it. You know, and my record with the shortest length with the uh I think it was like a seven excitement rating was on Dinky Park. It was like six hundred feet roller coaster and I got it over six or seven, so I was very, very satisfied. It's kinda like my forte with that coaster. Building the cheapest uh, shortest length possible while maintaining the level of excitement rating. Um, it's kind of like a uh, way that I play the game. I develop certain rules that I must follow. It's it's really for the advanced, more advanced players, really. But whatever floats your boat, this one floats mine. I can multitask while I do this, so I'm very happy. Um, I guess that's it for now. I will definitely, you know, do another update. Hey there, welcome to March year three. Okay, so we have about one year left, and you know, I'm totally cool with that. I have about $40,000 no loan to play with. Um, my park value is at 27000 so I'm as far as I'm concerned, I've already completed the park. I don't really need to build any more things, uh, big rides. Um, yeah, and let's see here. We have we're only getting roller coasters, so I've already researched all the thrill rides and general rides uh, in the game that we got, and I just got 3D Cinema, so I could build that later. Um, as far as the big things that I've really done, uh, I haven't done a whole lot, but I did build little rides here and there just to uh, give a little bit more flow to the park. Um, just particularly in this stupid pier area, I built a lot of the uh, thrill rides around the. Uh, the maze because I'm afraid that people won't go go into the maze because they'll say I want something more feeling blah 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 so they'll just go over here and then people are jumping up and down because they've experienced Gravitron and I totally forgot to put benches there anyway uh, that's that I think everybody's happy uh, I renamed fascist and communist to uh, communism and fascism because uh, people will say Fascism was great, and I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> this one is, uh, yeah, communism was great. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. I want to go on something more thrilling than communism. Well, how about genocide? <sighs> okay, I did build this. Um, this is this ride right here. It's kind of like my play on the uh, their log flume that they gave us, and for some odd reason, the Snake River Falls log flume that they gave us is. <laughs> really high in excitement rating. It was like 470 when it when I uh, first opened the park, and I was like, "What the hell, right?" So it went up by almost at least one excitement rating, and I'm I'm confident that's because of my water slide. Maybe the water drops on a log home. Maybe you know the uh, slip down the crack ride just decided to give the uh, log flume a hard on or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but it's so it's working. It's working for me. Uh, not in that sense, but it's working as in I'm satisfied with the excitement rating there. Uh, Snake River Rapids, it's the River Rapids ride. I thought I did a pretty good job. I didn't spend a lot of money on it. Uh, as far as I can tell, I just spent all the money that I gained. So, you know, I'm guessing I spent maybe 3000 on it. Uh, that's pretty cool. It comes down, you know, that big dip thing. Uh, just like the uh, Snake River Falls. You know, a bunch of rapids and whirlpools in the turns that's what really gets this uh this ride you know is excitement rating up and it's actually 662 and i was extremely happy with that uh, i was like wow damn man i could probably get it up to seven if i made it a little bit longer and originally i was going to make it longer i was going to utilize more space here and give it a bunch of twists and turns and you know more hills dips and stuff and there's really only like three hills and I still got it up to 662, so, you know, I'm cool with that. Um, other than that, there's really not much. Uh, however, I am saving some of these rides. It's 3D Semina, Go-Karts, and uh, Observation Tower, and Bumper Cars, and, and Car Ride. I'm saving those just in case I need it, like I said before. But now I have a lot bigger collection, and I got Best Value Park in the country. Yay! You know, I'm not a fucking Walmart. <laughs> My park is not a Walmart, okay? <laughs> cool. 
Uh, other than that, roller coasters. I got wooden roller coaster. I've done that already. I'm not going to do that. I was thinking of doing inverted roller coaster, but at this point, I really don't need anything more. I don't think I need another roller coaster. So I may not do that. If I get bored, I will, but I'm also multitasking, so, you know, it's really up to my mood. Am I going to spend that kind of time? I'm mostly concerned with uh, my park value decreasing down to like 21,000 at the very end. So I may, I'm just not sure yet. But that's why I have all the little rides to plant every month uh, until October. That's really the game plan for year three. So uh, I'll keep in touch. Hey there everybody, welcome to October year three. So it looks like Diamond Heights is, uh, we're going to get into the conclusion portion here. Remember 20,000 by October year three. I have just about 30,000 so you know 33 percent increase to the goal I'm very happy with that I've almost tripled the starting park value so I'm very happy with that now my company value is over a hundred thousand so that's that's pretty happy you know that's a uh, park value plus the amount of money you have so I have seventy eight thousand um, dollars you know <laughs> it's pretty awesome Okay, so let's go over some of the uh, tip portions of this park. Um, you just have to plan your building. Really watch your ratings, your park value, things like that. Um, let's see. Profit of two thousand dollars a week, so eight grand a month, and we have my rating is around nine thirty-five. I get a lot of throw up if I just you know decide to watch an episode of whatever. My ratings will go down to like seven hundred and then my park will be disgusting and vandalized so you know you have to watch things like that um the highlights of the park obviously we have shield buster it's broken down right now but it's basically a shuttle loop type roller coaster with uh... six seventeen uh... first try happy very happy my water slide slipped down the crack six eighty four uh, long water slide, but I'm pleased with it. It's uh, one of my favorites in the park. Uh, they gave us their roller coasters. Uh, this mine, mine yard madness I named it for them. They gave us that. It's actually quite nice, 784. Um, and then you have the dual roller coaster, the yin and yang, black and white. Claustrophobia is 776. That's the black one, and agoraphobia is 729, which is the white. And this one is another one, Arachnophobia, their steel mini garbage coaster. It's not very good. It, it did go up to 6. Uh, it's like 607. It was like 5 something uh, initially, but it did go up. Probably because, again, the water slide kind of helped that out. That's good. And I built this. Uh, this is large hoops. It's kind of like my play on bitch tests uh, people give you. And this is the large hoops. It's really awesome, man. It's the inverted roller coaster. Uh, we got that. They also gave us the bobsled roller coaster. I've researched every ride here, so that's really awesome. Look at that. Oh yeah, max power, 60 miles an hour. It's going in. It's freaking killer. 616. So that's good. Okay. Um. Hmm. Other than that, you just build all your small rides. I should build another food court really on this side of the park because I got an award for having the worst food in the country, and I'm like, fuck you, man. Like, nobody cares. But other than that, I mean, this is a pretty awesome park. I'm actually happy about it. Usually I hate park value parks, except it's except except for Dinky Park, which is my favorite park. Um, other than that, I really enjoyed this one particularly because I I believe I've done pretty well I left the admission price free which I never ever ever do but uh, I, I guess I, I just want to test it out I mean I, I am making a lot of money so I may do that in the future I don't know but I still prefer the old old way of uh, just doing a set entry price and then set ride price so you get money off of everything Okay, so yes, I've completed. Thank you. Again. 
Nice, 109,000. That is really awesome. Um, my goal, really, my rule um, when it comes to company value is it better be positive at the very end. Uh, and my loan better be zero, or I'm not going to be happy. But that's pretty much it. I've completed the park. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned uh, something from it. And uh, what to do, what to watch out for, things like that. New train available uh, log cars for the stupid steel mini. Fuck that. Alright, thank you very much. Have a good one.